From the perspective of those who wished to, dis who wished to disrupt the convention, they were unsuccessful. Their mission, by their own words, was to block the delegates from being able to get to the convention. That did not happen. To storm the gates of the convention and stop people from being able to, to exercise their rights uh, as a party at the convention. That did not happen. And to keep the convention goers from being able to leave the convention, thereby disrupting any further activities. And that did not happen. On almost any basis that you want to rate this in terms of what their mission was, uh, they were unsuccessful and the convention went on. I want to say that in addition to that, the police department's mission was also very successful. Our mission was to facilitate the delegates' transportation, access to the convention site, and their ability to get back and forth. But our mission also was to allow peaceful protest to go forward. And on both of those bases, today was a success for the St. Paul Police Department, the Minneapolis Police Department, and Bloomington and State Patrol and all the other agencies that have taken part in this, uh, in this great event. To give you kind of a timeline on this, we started the day early, uh, setting up four peaceful protests. And in fact, if you look at how we led the protest, the group from the state capitol, it followed exactly according to our plan. We led it with volunteers, we led it with people in regular uniforms, we led it with people on, in, on bicycles, with horses to support them. Um, we led it, it was, a, it was a very good march. And it was tens of thousands of people who came to march. Uh, and they were able to do that, they were able to complete their route, go past the public viewing area, and then return to the capitol. I wish I could say that they were able to do that without any interruption or any problem, but a small group of individuals did attempt to disrupt the convention today. Starting at about 11 o'clock this morning, hours before the, the march was scheduled to start, um, individuals in the area of West 7th Street in Banfield uh, set a dumpster on fire and pushed it into a side of an occupied squad car. Um, that was probably the first salvo in today's activities. Uh, I'm not sure how anyone can say that's protest. It wasn't had anything to do with the state capitol. It had nothing to do with the protest zone. It's clearly an act of criminal assault and vandalism. And individuals who committed that assault and that vandalism were taken into custody. Throughout the rest of the morning, uh, we spent much of our time positioning law enforcement personnel throughout the city to be able to, to allow for the protest to go forward and also to give a clear message that lawlessness in the city was, was not going to be tolerated. Uh, we moved assets around throughout the city, and I want to say that I'm quite impressed by, by the readiness by my officers, and also by the restraint, because the provocation uh, has been truly great. Uh, whether it's throwing liquid on them, uh, using gas of their own, uh, being pelted with rocks, uh, being called names and challenged and physically assaulted. My officers stood tall, as did our partners. Uh, they did not waver, uh, and they have very quickly restored order to downtown. There have been arrests made today. Uh, at last count, there were 56 arrests made, about <coughs> seven were felonies, and about nine were gross misdemeanor arrests. Uh, and we expect that there will be more arrests. That number will continue to grow. Uh, we're in the fact in the process of making arrests even as we speak uh, on one last group that has circled down to, she uh, to Shepherd Road. I am gratified that not only did I see the heroic efforts by the officers today, and not only did the mayor see that, but that many of you in the media also saw that. And I, I, I like the term that you, that you in fact have coined that what you saw today in the face of numbers and, and agitation and mass criminals was a restrained use of force. And that, I think, is a, a very apt description of what the officers today did. They didn't overreact. They didn't break ranks. Uh, and what you saw today was them holding the line and using appropriate levels of force to overcome resistance when we made arrests or to stop people from cr committing crime damage to property or assault. And some crime damage to property did occur. Uh, windows down at Macy's were broken. Squad car windows were broken. Some bus tires and car tires were flattened and slashed. Officers were assaulted. 
and a number of people were intimidated and frightened, I believe, uh, by the masked criminals who were running through the streets, uh, being pursued by the St. Paul Police Department and our partners. As I said, I'm impressed by the officer's activity. I, I want you to know that uh, while we've had a couple of officers that go down today, uh, every, all of our officers are okay. Uh, we got one go down from heat and a couple others that took some pretty good shots. A lot of them took rocks, uh, but all of them are standing tall and continuing to, to do the right thing. Uh, and we will continue this uh, as long as it is necessary. I've said this from day one and I'll say it again. Lawlessness will not be tolerated in the city of St. Paul. The St. Paul Police Department has been here for 150 years and we're not going anywhere.